Good afternoon, everyone. So today is the second day of the conference, so I'm not going to share many complex charts, graphs, and a lot of data right now. I'm just going to share with you what is our perspective of reality of digital out of form, the way we see it today in India. So uh, what we have captured over here are the different stages of digital out of form that we see in India today. This year we consider, or I would say, you know, the years that we are going through are the second innings of digital out of form in India. The first innings was way back in 2008-9 when digital out of form started. Over a period of years, it kind of established itself and 2015-16 onwards we have seen greater traction in terms of the volumes which have come up in different uh, ambiences across different places, across dif uh, different geos, etc. So if you just see the trajectory, it has really grown. First, the growth was across transit and then play space. When I say play space, it covers basically all those areas wherein digital out of home is present across gyms, restaurants, residential, etc., etc. Uh, before I, you know, talk more about it, just want to share that for any new media to proliferate, there are primarily four stages which it goes through, any kind of new media, and this is medium agnostic. There are four key stages. The first stage is of uh, development stage when the media technologies are being developed. That is the time when new media technologies are being invented, a lot of money is getting into research. And the second stage is all about proliferation, wherein these new media technologies, they are being widely uh, shared with the people and consumers are adopting these technologies. And the third stage is of convergence, wherein different mediums, they converge with each other and they merge with each other. And the fourth stage is of ubiquity stage, wherein the media becomes so pervasive that it kind of becomes invisible completely. And that is the time when another medium comes and becomes a disruptor. And this is my hypothesis that in digital out of form today, we are in stage two. We are in a stage of proliferation. And each stage has its own opportunities and challenges. So let's have a look at where exactly we are in India as of now. So one, we have seen increased space of roadside UH. We have seen some impact sites coming up across few metro cities, I would say. But if you look at the map, which is over there, you will see there's a huge traction in terms of roadside UH across top 25 cities. If we were to bundle up the volumes where this growth is happening, it is not only metro cities, but even tier one cities as well. Today, as on date, Ahmedabad tops this list when, wherein there are more than 100 plus DOH sites. And all these numbers combined together contribute to 3% of the total DOH in India. Second, place-based networks lead the volumes. Why they lead the volumes? Because it amalgamates lots of mediums together. All the malls, multiplexes, gyms, restaurants, etc., etc., come over here. And this is a big chunk. And this chunk is contributing to 67% of the total DOH. And out of this entire chunk, residential DOH tops the list. And nowadays, through residential DOH, it is, we are able to garner significant reach across metro markets and tier one markets. Uh, these are some of the stunner sites that I have deliberately put up over here. This shows the way DOH has grown in India. Across ambiences, now we can do campaigns on these stunner sites. Third is the increase in the transit networks that we have seen across airports, across railway stations, across metro stations. In fact, there are a few DOH assets which also have audio capabilities right now. And this entire piece contributes to 30% of the total DOH as it stands in India today. Uh, as they say, when the market expansion happens, creative experimentation is not much behind. And that is very true of our country as well. This is the kind of work that our agency has done in the last one year. And I will just name a few of the uh, creative enhancements, tech integration that we have all done for multiple clients of ours, ranging from anamorphic, which is 2D, 3D, QR codes, across duet screens, dynamic creatives, countdown timers, API integrations, full motion creatives, live streaming, using differential creatives on sequential sites and having live deals and offers on different DOH. And this is the work of one agency in the last one and a half year. And I'm sure if we were to bundle up all the work that all the agencies and all other media partners have done in the last two years or three years, 
In India, we have really come a long way in digital outer form. Also, there is increased uh, creative dexterity now in terms of the way we are uh, using the creatives in digital out of form. We now, in fact, across multiple media partners, uh, creative parting, time base is available. Multiple creatives can be deployed over time. You can do a set level customization, which we have been experimenting with, which we have been piloting with for different clients of ours. You can do 2D, 3D anamorphic creatives. At the same time, you can do a play between static and dynamic videos as well. I spoke uh, just now about the tech integration that we have done in the last one and a half year. Also, there are a couple of media partners who are also providing a lot of audience data. Uh, while, you know, I must say that everybody is not in a position to provide this level of data, but yes, we have seen some green shoots of nice data which is coming our way in the form of demographic details, reach and impression numbers. Some have even tried to arrive at multiplier impression numbers, behavioral affinities, and also log reports are coming in. But again, there is a lot of struggle over there to garner this kind of data. But yes, there are some media partners who have taken the onus on them to provide all these details. While this is all very good stuff that we are talking about, I also want to talk about a few challenges that we see right now in this medium. Uh, while we were collating this, I sat with my team to arrive at this list, and it was a long list. But you know, we have just bundled all of this into three parts. There are three, I would say, bigger buckets of the challenges of DOH that we see today. The first pertains to uh, infrastructural challenges and high pricing, especially roadside DOH. The second part pertains to efficiency and effectiveness. And uh, the third uh, part is of regulatory framework, which plays a very important role in outer form. Going to the first point of infrastructure limitations and high pricing, I just want to make one point uh, very clear to all the stakeholders of DOH that there is uneven proliferation of digital out-of-form assets which is happening pan-India. It is not restricted to any specific geography, but it's happening pan-India across markets and it's very disheartening. Right now, since this conference is happening in the city of Mumbai, we have used the map of Mumbai to showcase how disparate this coverage is. If we were to do a mid-size campaign of out of form, you, we generally take around 20, 25 billboards. But if we were to do a campaign using DOH as of today, it is just restricted to three to four uh, hotspots which are highlighted in red. It shows the limitations of the reach that DOH spread is giving to us today. And it is happening all across geos. It's not only Mumbai per se, but across markets. Second bit, which is more worrying, is the fact that roadside DOH is becoming very expensive. Roadside DOH, as compared to same static, bigger sites, is on an average 10 to 15% more expensive. While the impressions are much more lesser because this is being consumed on a slot basis itself. And this is a very worrying trend, not only for DOH, but also for out of form itself. Because out of form in India is very inflationary in nature. In the last couple of years, because of the debacle that we had because of the COVID, the rates are just going up, the new tenders are expensive. So somewhere down the line, we need to check the pricing, moderate the pricing of the assets if we want the industry, if we want DOH as a medium to grow further. Second big bit, uh, which is again a big grouse, is the fact that you know um, few media partners today are giving location impressions, which is not correct. We need to have spot-wise impressions, and which can be made available. It's a little bit of more tech than what they have currently, plus mathematical advanced mathematical modeling, which can be done, but which is not being done right now. And I, this is a big ask from all the advertisers and from the, all the specialist agencies. Second bit that the earlier panel also were discussing is the fact that, you know, there are no creative guidelines. DOH is a different uh, medium altogether. It needs to be used, consumed in a very, very different way, which is not happening. None of the media partners today are in a position to tell us what works, what doesn't work, and what, which ambient should you do, you know, maybe, let's say, a dynamic video, or a 10-seconder and 15-seconder. Couple of days back, in our office only, we were debating what works better. 10 second, 15 second, 25 second, because the dwell time is different. Malls are different, airports are different, bus depots are different. What works where, nobody has any clue. 
while we are mounting pilots with our advertisers to understand, you know, I would say, this uncertainty and this ambiguity that DOH is giving today, this is an area wherein uh, everybody needs to work, though Alok talked about a business idea that he had that he's going to start a creative agency, but I think the onus is on all the stakeholders and it's not only the media partners, but I think everybody needs to collaborate over here to figure out what works for this medium in the most optimal way. Third, most important bit is again pertaining to the fact that there is no research. Very less research, money is being spent on the researches. There are no brand lift studies which are happening. Now when advertisers are putting in the money in let's say out of form or any other medium, they want to see the returns. They want to understand whether this money is well spent or not. Because things are becoming very difficult at advertisers end as well, you know, every penny that they spend is being questioned internally as well as externally. But di digital out of form doesn't have any answers today. So we need to put a little more effort over here to create a nice uh, rich body of work which can answer questions which all the advertisers are asking today. Thirdly, uh, I would say the most important component of this entire uh, matrix that we have is the regulatory uh, framework that we have. The fact that there is uneven proliferation against tents uh, to this fact only that the regulation for outer form is uneven across cities, there are multiple corporations uh, involved in all, but there has to be some way in, in the sense that wherein we can go to them collectively and tell them to, you know, plan DOH in a certain way because DOH adds to the beauty, even outer form and DOH both, they add to the beauty of the cities wherever they are present in. So there's a lot of work that requ is required over here. Secondly, the licensing procedures should be made easier for the media partners for them to proliferate further. Because of all this ambiguity which is there in the background, there is fragmentation of ownership. I heard the earlier panel also talking about uh, the fragmentation and the fact that you know there are regulatory hurdles, we need to fix those and do something about it. While it's a long list of challenges that we just bundle up together, I'm not going to spend much time over here, but the big question that I'm going to ask everyone over here is, do you think there is any hope? Do you think that we can do anything to fix it? Please tell me your honest opinion, say a yes or a no. Do you think this can be fixed, all these challenges, or something can happen out of it? Okay, so I hear a yes, and I agree with you that it's a yes, we can definitely fix, if not all of it, but some part of it. So moving on to the fact that, you know, how do we build the speed better? How do we ensure that DOH also contributes to the growth of out of home? At the end of the day, the industry will improve. So again, I have divided this into four parts. One, we need to have more industry collaboration. When I say industry collaboration, advertisers, creative agencies, specialist agencies, media partners, we need to sit together. We need to share our learnings in terms of, again, what works, what doesn't work. How does a particular medium, you know, behaves in a certain ambience? What all guardrail should be there from a creative perspective? While all of us in numerous conferences have been talking about the fact that the out of home copy gets uh, adapted, uh, the, the print copy gets adapted to out of home, what is it that we have done to fix it? So a couple of us at, on the special agency sides have taken uh, multiple measures to fix this and to create some guardrails, guidelines for the clients and all of that. But there is a bigger industry collaboration which is required to have workshops, learnings, case studies, shared, etc., etc. Second part which is most important is, uh, is that there should be even infrastructure development across ambiences and roadside. So that, you know, there is a balance between glut and paucity. We have seen in few markets right now, they are leading, I can see that future, wherein few markets are leading towards a situation of glut, wherein after a couple of months, there will be so much of oversupply that we really don't know whether those sites or those slots will be sold or not, which again would be a very uh, sad situation for the media partners who have made investments. So over there, we need to have some sanity and a far-sightedness at, uh, at the end of municipal operations to plan this out. Thirdly, from the media partners, we need higher tech and uh, data integration. 
in terms of multiple things, the way the planning is happening, the way deployment is happening, the way verification of playouts is happening. A lot of work is required over there. Today also, if you ask for log reports, log reports are provided, but after some point of time. So that is something that needs to change at the media partner's end. Most importantly, we need to train our people. And when I say we need to train our people, we need to train everyone. We need to train our own teams. We need to train uh, the clients. We need to train the brand teams. We need to train the creative agencies. Because they really don't know how DOH works. DOH is very, very different. It pans out very differently. And we, should, we are, though at our end, we are doing uh, some workshop for the clients as well to train them. But I think it has to happen at a bigger scale wherein we need to train people, especially even within special agencies, not everybody can today plan and buy a digital out of home. Apart from that, they cannot even deploy it. So there are huge challenges over there in upskilling of the people, and I think it is the need of the hour. We need to upskill our people. The entire ecosystem, it's not only agencies or partners, even the clients, advertisers need to be trained in this medium. Okay. Uh, it was a long list that I shared earlier, and we all know that we can't boil the ocean. Even if we want to, we cannot do everything together. So we will have to sift through a couple of things that we need to focus on. We need to identify a few action points that we need to go after. So the, this is what I've written down over here, that one, we need to definitely train our people. Training is need of the hour. Rational pricing will do wonders for the medium. If you are able to moderate prices, make roadside digital out of phone much more economical, much more competitive than static, it will definitely open up more avenues. Planned infrastructure is also required, and definitely a lot got spoken about unlocking creativity, so I'm not going to spend more time over there, but yes, there is tremendous spo uh, scope to unlock higher creativity. A lot more is possible in terms of DOH and what all can we do and the way it can be integrated with technology. Uh, and lastly, measurement, we have seen some green shoots happening on DOH as well, but they need to be made better. Uh, measurement has to be uh, low cost and scalable. It can't be restricted to just one media partner who's providing it. It has to be scalable because all of us handle national adver adver advertisers who have national rollouts across cities and across touch points. Uh, thank you. <laughs>